Now picture will change. It's a very critical point of understanding where we stand now. That there is really big damage and there are inflammatory lesions, big inflammatory lesions going on there. Lot of antibodies, maybe complements, lot of neutrophils, macrophages, platelets sticking there, lot of cellular element. Pathology is really advanced in this patient. So, he has albuminuria with globulinuria or non-selective proteinuria. With that, he has hematuria. What this patient has developed? Hematuria. Especially in the urine, you will find a very, in the, you know, whenever RBCs are or blood in urine, we say there is hematuria. But every hematuria is not coming from glomeruli. Even if your urethra is damaged, you develop hematuria. If your urinary bladder is damaged, you develop hematuria. But this is the hematuria of glomerular region. This is one of the very dangerous hematuria. Because this tells there is something seriously wrong with your glomeruli. Now how you really know that this particular hematuria is coming from the glomeruli? How you differentiate this hematuria from other hematurias? Very simple. Have you seen stars? I'm not talking about movie stars, stars in the sky. They have pointed edges. Actually, any RBC, RBC which has to slip through this and come all the way down, do you think this RBC will have normal shape? It will have some star-shaped spikes. And these starry RBCs, when you find this type of RBCs into urine, we think they are coming from glomeruli. Is that right? So, RBCs into urine, which have been pushed through squeezing and all dysmorphic RBCs, the morphology is disturbed. So, you find RBCs which are like this. They are coming from where? All the way from glomeruli and they squeeze their way through very much disrupted membrane. Secondly, when RBCs really leak in heavy number, they produce a traffic jam. And where they produce a traffic jam? Not on the roads, on the tubular system. So what really happens? If this is your tubule and RBCs get stuck on the way and when these RBCs are stuck and they are being pushed, so these RBCs are compressed against each other and they are held together by some proteins some proteins holding the group of RBCs which are pushed by first they accumulated, they produced a block here then fluid accumulated and pushed it forward when these RBCs group will come out right these RBCs will making microscopic cylindrical microscopic cylinders this cylinder is like the cast of cast of inner lumen so when these Groups of RBCs appear into urine, we say patient is showing RBC cast. RBC cast is a dangerous thing. It means RBCs are coming from the top, glomeruli, and they have been heavy protein urea and they have been stuck into what? Tubule and then they have been pushed by the fluid and they become compressed and they make a cast of the lumen of the renal tubule and we call them RBC cast. So patient is now developing, not only albuminuria, globulinuria, he is developing our hematuria with dysmorphic RBCs into urine and red cell cast. You heard of this term? Right. Do you think under these circumstances when glomeruli are swollen and inflamed, lot of glomeruli are infiltrated with inflammatory cells, do you think blood can easily pass through glomeruli? No. Even injured endothelial cells may develop the platelet plugs. So total blood flow through kidney will become less or more? Less. Normally during inflammation blood flow become more. But when glomeruli are severely inflamed, glomeruli swell up and they become loaded and clogged by the inflammatory cells. So blood cannot pass through that. So you will make more GFR or less GFR? Glomerular filtration will be more or less? Less. For when glomerular filtration start going down, now here the difference from nephrotic patient, <coughs> the glomerular filtration in this patient is going down. So total urine formation will be normal or less? Less. less. 
and when urine formation per 24 hour is less than 400 ml we say patient has oligoduria so these patient along with this thing develop oleg urea due to reduced GFR they develop oleg urea these things were not so severe in nephrotic patient things are getting worse total urine amount is less and because now here's a very important point because the total filtration is less so total loss of protein will be less than nephrotic this is a very very fine point to understand listen with your both ears listen here there was significant formation of filtration so with filtration a lot of proteins were filtered and coming down here injury is more so you as simple every student may think protein urea should become more but actually protein urea become less why protein urea is less because leon the sword wants that filtration is total filtration is reduced when total filtration is reduced the total amount of filtered protein is also reduced and so in these patient albumin urea and globulin urea is less than the nephrotic patients or we can say another thing patient come to you with nephrotic syndrome unfortunately his disease become advanced so patient who was only nephrotic having generalized edema heavy protein urea hypoproteinemia gradually his edema start becoming less hypoproteinemia become less protein urea become less maybe a simple doctor become very happy mm. and he is not looking for something dangerous start appearing into urine rbc's and rbc's cast so actually patient is getting better or worse? worse patient is getting worse you are intelligent patient is getting worse you should be only happy when edema become less you should be only happy when edema is reducing when protein urea is reducing hypoproteinemia is less and when dangerous things are not coming then this is a good news but if all these nephrotic features are reducing and hematuria is developing rbc cast are developing dysmorphic rbc are developing oligurea is developing and when gfr is less do you think waste product from the blood will be re removed properly no so urea and creatinine start accumulating in the blood urea and goes up and creatinine goes up so blood biochemistry is now further disturbed and in the blood when urea and creatinine are rising this biochemical disturbance of the blood is given a special name what is that name azotemia the term is called azotemia so patients start developing yes azotemia so look just severe inflammation severe inflammation led to reduce gfr reduced gfr led to leak urea into urine and less gfr reduces the capability of the kidney to 